Hey, uh, this is be uh, day eight now of uh, using Bitcoin as a currency. And uh, I just read an article saying that Bitcoin can't be used as a currency. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I believe the past eight days of my uh, living have proved otherwise. <laughs> I could see this uh, going on for quite some time if I was able to make it eight days so far. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, some people. Bitcoin is, they say Bitcoin's not accepted enough, widely accepted enough, but there's so many places that either accept Bitcoin directly or accept Bitcoin by proxy by using a service, by partnering up with a service like Gift in order to accept Bitcoin by proxy. You can shop just about anywhere you can think of in Bitcoin. And uh, for them to say that Bitcoin's not accepted enough, some of the largest online distributors of stuff, such as you know Tiger Direct, Overstock.com, uh, they accept Bitcoin. You can buy Amazon gift cards with Bitcoin. You can buy Walmart gift cards with Bitcoin. You can shop at plenty of places using Bitcoin as your means of exchange. Um, so for this article to claim, which I'm going to link down in the uh, in the notes of this video here, um, they they said some really crazy stuff, trying to say that Bitcoin um, is, is the worst investment. When I mean, when you look at it like it's an investment, and you're only looking at a particular point in time, yeah, I can see that. I mean, they they did some point, they did their uh, their timeline. Um, from when it was at its peak to now, I mean, we had a speculative bubble that happened that shot it up there. Uh, of course, if you look at it from its peak to where it is now, it looks like a bad investment. But if you look at it just a month before it hit its peak to now, it's a pretty damn good investment. So their uh, whole thought process on Bitcoin being so, so terrible is... I, I don't understand. I mean, yeah. I mean, we saw a little bubble there. We saw a little peak and we saw it pop, but it it happens, you know. Um with any new with any new currency, you're going to see speculative bubbles that happen there. Uh you're going to see people getting on board and rushing to go buy what drives the price up. Um and I don't think that's as high as it's going to go. I think it can go much higher than uh, about $1,000 where it was before. Uh, it can definitely go higher than that. I don't see any reason why not. It has all the makings of a good currency. Uh, it's divisible. It's transferable. It's decentralized, which is great for a currency because then you don't have any single issuer. It's limited. Um, it's so it's scarce. Uh, it takes effort to create, and it's it's as anonymous as you want it to be. It's not purely anonymous, uh, but there is no names linked to the account, so you can have it be as anonymous as you want it to be. Um, so it has all the makings of a good currency. So for them to call it not a currency, and for them to say that it's impossible, it's not, you can't use it as a currency, is ridiculous. Um, I just... I mean, I've been using it as a currency for eight days just fine. <laughs>